Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Studio Pro. So now in the earlier videos, I've created a contract template and I've created a questionnaire template. Those are optional, they're only if you, you need them. You can actually get started just by creating a client once you've gone through the setup wizard that we walked through in our first video. Now everything is going to revolve around the client area. If you're not there already, you can get there by clicking the clients link on the side. And here we are. What I need to do is I have no clients, but I have somebody maybe I want to invoice or just start corresponding with. So let me add the client here. So I have my contact email address. Um, let me just make one up here. James at domain.com. Uh, all of these fields are going to be optional except for the email address. You've got to have an email. So we'll just call him James. You can obviously put a phone number, the whole address here, uh, the, their home address, mailing address, whatever. Let's go ahead and save that. So now I have my client here. So if we go back and click on just the clients link, now we have our list of clients and we have the one. So if I click on his name again, I'm back to his area. He has no contracts and no questionnaires right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an invoice for him. Just name it my invoice. Now the status you're going to want to when the when it's ready to be seen by a client you're going to want to set the status to unpaid otherwise draft status is going to be inaccessible to clients it's just so you can build it without them accidentally stumbling upon it but i'm going to go ahead and set it to unpaid uh, by the way once the invoice is paid it will be marked paid when if you connect it with uh, our paypal express settings so i'll leave it to unpaid session date i'll go ahead and set it the 25th here these notes will be seen by the client, so don't add anything you would not want to be seen. Um, we will, in this case, be manually adding a line item. You can also add line item. You can add products that you can just automatically select without having to manually fill them out by clicking the product services link over here. So I'm gonna manually add one this time instead. I'll just go ahead and add a newborn session. We'll give them 10 digital images. And let's go ahead and say that's $500. Uh, in this case, it is, we're gonna, it's taxable, but we haven't set up any tax settings yet, but that's okay. Let me just go ahead and leave it unchecked then for now. Expiration date, set to expire in a week. And for a contract, we'll go ahead and use our general client contract that we made earlier. We'll also assign our newborn questionnaire and our payment schedule. We're just going to want it all to be due right now. And I'll show you in a later video how to set that up so you can maybe set it to where they pay $150 down, the rest due at the session date, or broken up however way you want it. Let's go ahead and create this. Our invoice has been created successfully. And here we see my invoice. That's what I named it. The status is unpaid, $500 when I added it. Now what you'll be able to do here is you can pass these link, like here it says direct link and send. So if you want to send the invoice to the client just manually within the system, you would click send. Their, their email is automatically filled in there from the client page. Any carbon copies, blind carbon copies you want to say. And this is just default text is there. You can change this default subject. And from there you click send. I don't actually want it to go out right now, so I'm not going to click that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and go back to the invoice. And you can also click this to get the direct link. So this will, if you want to copy paste it into Facebook or something. So this brings us to our checkout page, which we set up in our earlier video. So I have my overview, the contract questionnaire payment. So this is how the client will see your setup here. So it, we have our header that we put earlier, our invoice name, our line items. In this case, we just had one our totals and you see our contract that we set up earlier we wanted the client information added so our appointment is here our order summary so there's no confusion client will type their name his name was James go ahead and sign that obviously the client will be walking through this not you but this is just to verify it and we had our newborn questionnaire here what is your child's name and this was required, so it's not going to let us just go without filling it out. We'll just say his name is James Jr. Submit that answer. 
And now we're at our PayPal page. We're not going to go through this, but obviously if we, since we've set up PayPal in the earlier video with a, a fake ID, where you would click that, check out, it will update, and this will show as paid once they pay it. So that's how you set up a client and send an invoice to the client. And thank you for watching the Simple Studio Pro video and see you in the next video.